they're 10 days in culture takes years to build you know and, and successfully build you know it's I've seen elements of players having conversations and being direct and trusting me with the coaching information that I'm giving so we are starting first thing is how do we get the players together as a group and also the staff we're coming together as a group of strangers we're being dropped in this environment expected to perform so honest conversations around how I work as a coach how I want to remove the fear of making mistakes and actually that's where we learn and grow. I've just seen a, a great group of people, you know, I, I want to get away from talking about players as assets and I think that happens over here and it, it's not something I'll ever do. They are people, they're players, they're great characters. What I've seen is a real competitive driven group that want to be part of an environment where they can be trusted, they can be cared for and they can be valued and that's what we, we will deliver. Number one, we've got good people on this journey, so they're going to be really coachable. They're going to give absolutely everything to learn so we can grow them. We are going to play to people's strengths rather than try and pigeonhole someone into something that you know doesn't work. So, you know, I, I feel really confident about the character pieces that we've got on this journey. Uh, the coachability of the players that I've seen already, the positivity of them wanting to grow and learn. Um, and listen, this group is super competitive. I've seen it already in every single thing we do, so I just want to harness that. Most importantly, I adapt to them. You know, they can't adapt to me as one of me. There's, you know, 30 odd of them, um, and it's a different culture, so I've done a lot of background before I even got here from coaches that have worked here, for players that have played here, about adapting to them, what are their needs. So I have to meet their needs, and how I can do that every day, you know, and adapting moments, depending on the person, the player, what their experience has been, you know, where they are in their career, it becomes really, it has to be about them as people and how I can really support them, challenge them, uh, and help them grow. You don't get many opportunities where you can stand in a room and everybody is in that room because you've chosen them to be there. You're not clearing up anyone's mess. Maybe you are a little bit because of the history, but you're not clearing up anyone's mess. You're not taking over players that you, you didn't choose. You know, everyone's here because they've been chosen, staff and players. And that's a really unique opportunity to excite people, to build, and to get people, you know, buying and engaging into the vision. I'm incredibly excited to be here. Um, and it's been a roller coaster being on the West Coast and understanding where I am now. Um, but this team is amazing. The facilities are absolutely beautiful. and. We have a world-class team that we just need to get together and get some chemistry, but it's incredibly exciting to see what the future holds for this, this club. Yeah, I'm just so excited to be here as well. Um, I was drafted over a year ago and just the anticipation of, of waiting and, and seeing how the new club has unfolded has just made me so excited to be here. And now that all the girls are finally here and we finally got to meet the coaching staff, it's so surreal and it's a blessing and we just can't wait to, to get on the field and compete. Um, I think they're taking a really uh, whole approach to everything. They're hitting all the different angles of the player and the player development. I think we obviously know how important on the field, the gym, all those things are and I think a lot of clubs take a really strong approach to that and they're obviously doing that as well but off the field, in the training room, in the treatment room, um, the mental side of the game is a really big aspect for this coaching staff and I think that's something that gets a little bit neglected. Um, especially in women's sports and I think it's one of the biggest if not the biggest impacts on the strength of a team and the strength of an individual player and I think they've put such a big importance on that and building that chemistry um, with the coaches with the players and just the individual with their ability to be mentally strong. Uh, everyone's new here there's no predetermined friendships or, or bonds and so we really have the opportunity to create the culture that we want here and that's super special for us. Yeah, I think a brand new club kind of can also set a new standard in the league and I think we've seen um, a really amazing opportunity for that, especially in the NWSL, for this club to come in and really show what a professional environment is going to look like and what the standards that we're going to set for the rest of the league. I think on the field that's up to us and the coaching staff, but I think the club has already started in the way they want to go. Setting a new standard for the NWSL, I think what we've seen in the past is completely unacceptable and this club is absolutely not going to accept that and going to set standards and demand excellence from the entire league, not just itself. Ultimately, we start with facilities, it's beautiful. I think they're gonna create more and I think what we have right now is amazing, but they've already set, set a new boundary for us and they're gonna create that. I think coaching staff wise and player wise, they're bringing in talent, they're creating talent. I think you can see a really young group right now. Um, I think there's, there's also that maturity and that um, senior level of experience that we have on this team, but I think 
creating your own talent as well is huge and it just allows the league to flourish in the future. Um, so I think that's going to be huge for us and kind of develop that system of bringing up your own players and seeing how they flourish in the professional environment. I think we're incredibly competitive. Uh, I think this group has shown that since day one. Um, we have an incredibly diverse group of talent um, and I think it's going to be up to, again, our incredible coaching staff to kind of put those into the best channels to show it and compete against some of the top teams in the world.